Sex abuse, definition of sex abuse is when a more powerful person coerces, tricks and force a child into a sexual activity for his or her own sexual gratification. Sex abuse covers voyeurism, pipping tom, pipping tom voyeurism, exhibitionism, um, obscene phone calls, pornography, sodomy, molestation, uh, rape. The, most sex offenders already know how to abuse a child, right? In fact, most sex offenders are more intelligent than us. They had already planned out the whole process and they are like five steps ahead of us. Because adults who actually, uh, who, who actually sexually abuse children are actually attracted to children. They, they find children vulnerable, they find children, um, they can get along with child, the, the child, they, they, they have problems dealing with adults, right? And they, they find children arousing. 85% or I would say 9 out of 10 offenders are people the child knows. Okay, when I say a child, it means below 18. So it is a teacher, you know, care provider, parent, uncle, auntie, yeah, um, it could be anybody. The sex offender basically, what he or she would do, there are also female sex offenders, would groom the child. So they will always build a rapport with the child, yeah, gain the trust of the child, and then introduce friendly touches to the child. Uh, eventually, if the child doesn't react negatively or the child doesn't say stop it or I will tell mommy, then this is a potential victim of sexual abuse. The sex offender will continue doing what he or she um, was set out to do. So the cases that we see are still the same. I mean, it's preschoolers. Is there an increase in sexual abuse? If you ask me, I say no. I would think that there's just a lot more reporting. Uh, we know that at least one in four children have been sexually abused. Uh, that's how high the rates are. It's just that many people do not have the courage to report. For now, I think parents will just have to, you know, one of the things that we say to parents is to, to watch the, your child's behavior, change in behavior. It doesn't mean that it's sexual abuse, but whenever there is a change in behavior, something is wrong somewhere, right? So listen to your child because there's this whole misconception saying that children lie about sexual abuse. When it comes to sexual abuse, um, for now, you know, won't lie, it takes a lot. Because I, I think when we understand the, the, the grooming process, yeah, we, we talk about the grooming process, the, the child is already, the child already knows the other person, right? The child likes the other person, the child likes the sex offender, but the child does not like the behavior, right? I like Uncle Sam, but I don't like what he's doing to me. So most of the time, the child actually wants um, the act to stop, but not want the offender to go to jail or be harmed. You know, that's, that's the wonder, the, the beauty of children. Uh, you know, they, they are, they don't want harm done upon the guy. Not all of them, depending again on the context and how close they are with the, with the offender.